If you're trying to buy off-market properties in Cleveland like this one, this is where you want to be because I got the inside track for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world welcome to the show folks my name is james wise this is the mls search and analysis show this is the show where i work one-on-one -on -one with real estate investors like my man mike from oregon now mike me and you we've been going back and forth doing a whole bunch of stuff trying to build you a portfolio of rental properties in cleveland and i got an off-market deal for you brother this house right here Situation with this, I got a little inside track on this, right? Uh, somebody else ordered some shows just like you do. Uh, we put this particular property under contract. The price you got to pay is 62 and a half. They got their inspection, third party inspection report, and they were not comfortable uh, with this purchase after the inspection report. I also reviewed the inspection report, and for the price we can get this property for, 62.5. Woo the property is in mighty fine condition, right? So uh, every property is not going to work for every investor, right? But um, folks, this property at this price point is is the condition. It's not a perfect property, but to get it at 62.5 in this neighborhood, holy crap, awesome deal. So uh, right now, Mike, it is still quote unquote under contract, right? Uh, she still has it under contract. Uh, we have not uh signed all the documents to back her out of the deal but that's exactly what she's going to do uh so before the seller gets a chance to put it on the market i wanted to give uh, you an opportunity we could s just jump right in there i'm going to send you the inspection report with this v uh this video uh you could review that we could just jump right into the where that buyer was pick this bad boy up 62.5 would work perfectly uh for your portfolio so uh, with that said, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to a quick break, and then I'm going to leave you with the footage I originally gave to that investor. And then again, when I send this to you, I'm going to send it to you with that inspection report, and you let me know if you want to step in and take this one down at 62.5 before that listing agent puts it back on the market. There are two sides to wholesaling. Bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics. Together, they're a match made in heaven. This is our wholesaling course. Let the light get by the doors! Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up this property, right? This is the good part, right? It's the meat of the show, folks. This is how the sausage is made, right? If you guys are watching YouTube videos or this or that from this guru or that guru, they're teaching you theory, theory theory but that theory doesn't always work in the real world that's where we differ right here at Holton Wise real property that I can represent you as your real estate broker then handle your property management maintenance insurance speaking of insurance right there right got that sign up there because if you are a landlord and you own property in Ohio hit us up I can almost guarantee you we could lower the current premium you're paying because I do not insure your boats I do not insure the family home you live in. I do not insure your business. I do not insure your car or your snot-nosed teenage son's car. I don't do any of that. All I do is focus on insuring properties for landlords as such. I've got this thing down to a friggin' science, folks. $200 million in real estate sales is what I've sold in the Cleveland market. So I know exactly where to put the pieces to get you guys low landlord rental property insurance. So if you want to save money that way, hit us up. But now I want to focus on this property, right? Because I love this property. I love this neighborhood. And I'm going to show you guys some cool stuff about it, okay? 229 Gates Avenue, Elyria, Ohio, 44035. Priced at 62500 Been on the market over a month, 32 days. Elyria, that is the key to this investment, right? This is a duplex, okay? Duplex. We got two long-term tenants, they're also the key to this investment, right? We're in Cleveland real estate, folks. Cleveland real estate. So the fact that this property is in Elyria, that's big. That's why this property is priced the way it is, okay? People from the national spotlight are looking at Cleveland as one of the best markets to invest in for cash flow, okay? 
Cleveland, Cleveland. You got the Cleveland Browns, the Cleveland Cavs, the Cleveland Indians, or the Cleveland Guardians, depending on how woke you are, okay? You hear about LeBron being from Cleveland. This Cleveland, 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 Cleveland Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Check this out. LeBron not from Cleveland, okay? LeBron's from a city called Akron, right? Akron is about 35 or so minutes from Cleveland, south. Elyria is about 35 minutes or so away from Cleveland as well, west. People don't pay much attention to properties outside of the city of Cleveland because it doesn't get the national spotlight. Y'all hear Cleveland, 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 right? This duplex, if it was in Cleveland proper, I'd be selling it on this show for 100 grand. Okay, well, we would need the tenants to be at market rate, which they're not. But if they were, I would sell this, okay, for $100,000. So when we talk about this investment, it's going to be, I'm going to do this analysis based on uh, you buying this as a buy and hold investment. But if you're looking to buy with equity, possibly cash out, I'm not saying it's like a pure flip, but uh, the metrics are there to make money on the exit if you only own it for a few short years, right? Because on my show, the other show I do, the Investment Properties for Sale show, when I sell properties, right? $100,000 investment if we got both tenants in there paying market rent. The reason it's so low right now, though, is because we got those low-paying tenants, right? Each of those tenants, they're long-term. The listing agent wrote it in the thing. They're only paying $500 a month, okay? $500 a month. These are not $500 units. Units like this, these are $750 units. So that'd be $1,500 a month, eighteen dollars a year. But this is the real world. This is Holton Wise TV. We don't just give you fluff. You ain't collecting eighteen dollars or you ain't putting eighteen dollars in your pocket every year you own this sucker. No, you're not, okay? As a matter of fact, you're going to spend almost $9,000 operating this. And then when I say operating, I mean having my team operate it for you because it's going to be passive. My team will take care of everything. We are your boots on the ground in the Cleveland market, right? So, 18 scheduled to come in, but things happen. You don't always collect all the rent. Every now and again, you got to evict people. This or that or the other, taxes, insurance, water, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, you should clear, on average, ninety-one twenty-two a year. And if you buy it at sixty-two five, which is what they're offering it for, you only put down fifteen and a half. Bank kicks in forty-six. If you need lenders, I got those. Shoot my team an email: sales at holtonweiss.com. That projects out to a forty-three point two percent cash on cash return or a fifteen cap. Now. That sounds amazing. Let's get into the why this is possible because that's what matters. First of all, remember, we're not there yet. We don't have $750 rents yet. We have $500 rents. What we want to do is slowly increase the tenant's rent. I don't have any photographs uh, of the inside of this home, okay? We just have some exterior photos. Just your typical run-of-the-mill C-grade duplex, okay? Nothing special here. But I don't need interior photos to tell you what i'm about to say these are long-term below market rent rate tenants there's no scenario where when they move out you don't have to turn the unit right not gonna happen it's not possible that's just not how this game works okay they've been in there a long time so if you turn the units assume you're doing New carpet well not re i don't i don't like to go carpet if there's carpet i want you to uh, pull out the carpet if there's hardwoods under there i want you to refinish them if not i want you to go vinyl uh flooring that way on the future turnovers you don't have to have that cost right you're probably repainting everything and you might be doing new home depot lowest quality kitchen cabinets and bathroom fixtures right so you should assume anywhere between five on the low end 15 on the high end for your tenant terms which is why it's very important not to do tenant terms when you don't have to so I don't want you to go in thinking, oh, we got to kick out these $500 tenants so you can get $750 tenants. No, that doesn't make no sense, right? What we want to do is slowly raise the rents, not go from five to seven fifty because they'll probably move out and then you got to spend more money. But just do it slowly, $25, $50 bucks a year, something like that. Slowly get them up to market rate. If you can get them up to market rate without a tenant turnover, that's how you hit those metrics I just gave you. If you got to add in the tenant turnovers, of course your cash on cash returns are going to be lower, right? You're going to have turnovers throughout the years. I budgeted for it, right? That's where the majority of repair cost comes. But you never want to add a turnover when you don't have to, right? So that's one thing to keep in mind. And the thing is, other people may not know these are really $750 units. So that's what's part of the reason this price is so low, 62 dollars 
And then the other is, again, it's not Cleveland. It's not on the spotlight. Not a lot of people are looking at it, right? So you have a lot of investors coming to the Cleveland market overlooking Illyria because they're not thinking about it. It's not on their radar, okay? It's technically in a different county than Cleveland. Cleveland is in Cuyahoga County. This is in Lorain County. People might, be, might not be thinking about it. Back to LeBron. LeBron's from Akron, as I said. Guess what? Akron ain't in Cuyahoga County either. Akron's in Summit County, right? So it's very much part of the Cleveland market, but a lot of people don't know that, right? So we got a lot of buyers passing it over because they're not paying attention to it. They're not aware of Elyria, Ohio, right? Everybody watching this show, right? If you're a first-time viewer to this show, I'm sure... You probably never heard about Illyria. You knew about Cleveland. That's why you clicked on the, the video, right? But you probably never heard of Illyria, right? So that's one. And then two, again, those below market rent tenants are holding it down. So we got a whole bunch of buyers overlooking it due to the locale. Whole bunch of other buyers overlooking it due to the low rents. But we know the proper, smart, profitable way to get the rents up is to do it slowly so for all those reasons i think this is an amazing investment i think you should definitely do the deal and i think you're going to make a lot of money while you hold it and i believe when you go to exit you'll probably also make a pretty good sum of money because when i get a property like this on the investment properties for sale show with the exposure we have here boom that's a hundred thousand dollar payday if those tenants are close or at that market rate rent. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.